Hello, good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel! I am taking you today in a new city which is located in the northeastern part of Italy and it's called Trieste and it is located in the Friuli Venezia Giulia region and I cannot wait to show you more about this city so I'm gonna do a little room tour this is the bar area and I'm gonna show you that part later this is the toilet and yeah they also got a selfie ring light which can be really useful for taking selfies look at the tv it's huge it was actually um, the building of an old bank here in Trieste. the hilton hotels bought this building and they made a hotel out of it so here is where we are staying for the next two days and look they also gave us free cookies yeah it's a chocolate chip cookie Trieste was one of the oldest parts of the Habsburg monarchy and it became the fourth largest city of the Austro-Hungarian Empire after Vienna, Budapest and Prague. is considered one of the literary capitals. In fact, famous writer James Joyce has lived here for more than a decade. Chiesta's architecture is a living testimony to its past. The Austrian neoclassical and Baroque styles merge with the medieval elegance of the old city. And guess what guys, we just went from a long day strolling around the city and they gave us a welcome um, card and a little gift which I will open later and a complimentary bottle of Merlot wine <laughs> And good morning guys and welcome to day two in Trieste. We just had breakfast. Now we're going to drink at the bar. It's a really wonderful location and I'm gonna show you later. You're gonna like it. The building was previously the headquarters of an insurance company and it was built in the early 1900s.
Good morning! Taking a long stroll today again. We are going to a mall. Here it is, Domino's Pizza. His very first time eating this kind of pizza. I don't know if he's gonna like it. Yeah. I took the veggie one. Here we are back at the hotel again to take a little nap, take a little break. And um, it's actually not the first time in Trieste, but we like returning to the city every once in a while because it's like very different from other cities of the Friuli Venezia Giulia. It kind of reminds me of Germany, like Munich and La Rambla in Barcelona. That's why I like this city so much. It's a much more, it has a much more European city vibe. <laughs> Trieste is famous for coffee, so don't miss the chance to drink some in one of the historical bars of the city. But if you're not a fan of caffeine, you can also opt for aperitifs just like we did. chilling and there's an incredible sunset behind me Trieste by night <laughs> Trieste is not exactly a top destination for party people, but it does have a very lively nightlife scene, as there is often a very fine line separating cafes and bars. If you're looking for one area of the town to concentrate your drinking efforts in, look towards the area surrounding the main square. It's our last day here in Trieste. We have already packed our things and today we are heading to the last spot that we have programmed and it's actually a church um, on top of a hill and you can see the view of the city. Trieste is a popular shopping destination, particularly if you're interested in antiques, leather articles, books or clothing. 
On the third Sunday of the month, it is possible to enjoy an antiques and flea market around the Ponte Rosso Canal and Piazza Unita. There are Roman ruins in the middle of the city and at the top of the San Giusto hill, just about 20 minutes by foot, is the location of the cathedral and castle, which was built around the time Trieste came under Austria's control and protection. We are back at the main square again and it's such a cloudy day. We are super tired because we actually took a long walk to reach the church that I have shown you before. So this is the castle we've been before. Just to show you how far is it from the city center. And here we are! And guys, our small weekend getaway has come to an end. We are just going to enjoy the view here and um, we're gonna wait for a couple hours and take our train back home. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my new adventures and see you on my next video!